Okay, so we make contractions like this. We've made these contractions before. I'm sure that you guys have done this before, especially if you guys are an advanced level student. So let's just review and then we'll discuss also the pronunciation of it, okay? So what are the contractions? So I, we've got our pronouns, right? I, you, she, he, it, and then we and they, okay? Those are our pronouns, or in this case, we'd also, they would be our subjects, okay? So when we're using the past perfect, oh, we erased part of our thing here. So we've got here, let's go back to our formula. That's subject. Remember, English is a subject, verb, object, language. Subject, verb, object, okay? So we have our pronouns or subjects here. Next, we need has or have, okay? Actually, I'm gonna put these all over here so we can see all of them. And they, okay? So let's put the correct forms of the verb to have in with the subject. So I, you, she, he, it, they, or we and they. I have. You have, he, she, and it has, great. Um, we have and they have. Okay, so you're using the verb to, to have in the, its present form. And very simply, we only change that third person just like in present tense. Okay, so I have, you have, she has, he has, it has and we have, and then they have. Okay, great. Now let's combine those and make the contractions, okay? So how do we make these contractions? Ugh, that one is not a good marker. Thankfully I've got tons of them. I made that in the garbage, by the way. <laughs> I have goes to I've, I've. You have goes to You've, you've, um, he, she, okay, let's just do all of these. She's, he's, it's, okay, we, let's see, we've, and they've. Now, we have, um, So what's tricky about she's and he's and it's, what's tricky about that, you guys? So these contractions can be two things, one or two. It can be she is or she has. Okay, same here. He is or he has. It is or it has. But you guys probably already know that. And then, um, yes, so contractions can be tricky. And the reason, the way that you're going to know if you're referring to she is, he is, or he has, she has, is by having this part here. If there's a participle, then you're using the, path, the, the present perfect, okay? So let's look at the pronunciation for these. So if you've been coming to the pronunciation and fluency class, this should be just a no brainer for you because we're working on all of these sounds. Okay, so I've, if we use the international phonetic alphabet is I've, I've, all right? You've, how would we write that you guys? If you haven't done the first class for pronunciation and fluency and you're struggling and you don't know what I'm talking about right now, please go back and watch those classes. Um, pronunciation and fluency is probably, in my opinion, is probably one of the most important pieces that people can do to help themselves feel comfortable speaking and learning English and using it out in the world. If you, you know, maybe you use English in your work or maybe you use it with your friends or your husband or your children. Who knows? 
ultimately we just have to practice these sounds and the pronunciation and fluency class we just dive super deep into um, especially um, especially the vowels and these kinds of examples like the contractions okay